Hello to all the families watching today's video. My name is Marie and in this video we are going to be singing a few songs and we are going to be reading the book Andrew Drew and Drew. We are also going to talk about different ways that you can enhance your drawing at home. Let us begin by greeting each other. Hello and how are you? In this song we are going to be saying Good day, good day, how are you, how are you? It's so nice to have you here today. Let's repeat that line. Good day, good day, how are you, how are you? It's so nice to have you here today. Now we're going to play some ukulele with it. Here it goes. Good day, good day, how are you, how are you? It's so nice to have you here today. Good day, good day, how are you, how are you? It's so nice to have you here today. That was a wonderful introduction to each and every one. Are you ready to listen to our story? Here it goes. Andrew Drew and Drew by Barney Salzberg. Andrew was a doodle boy. Doodling means he loves to draw some squiggles and do some drawings. He drew and drew and drew. Andrew never knew what would happen when he began. He began with nothing, but he started with a line. And before he knew it, His ideas started to fly. Andrew thought that making a drawing was like making magic. Look at those bunnies coming out from the hat that he drew. He drew things that he saw Let's take a look. And things that he imagined. Sometimes Andrew drew nothing at all. But he never stopped for long. Andrew doodled and doodled. Sometimes he noodled. And cock a doodle doodled. Look at that. He drew a chicken. When night drew near, as it always does, Andrew knew there would always be more to draw tomorrow. The end. So dear children, I wonder what you are going to be drawing today. You can draw anything that you have seen or anything that you have imagined, which is in your mind. So for today's activity, I encourage you to try, try to do some drawing using different materials. Some materials that you can find at home could probably be some paper. And if you have colored paper, that would be nice. If you don't, that's okay. You can still use white paper. And if you, had, if you have some empty cards at home, you can also draw on them or cardstock paper. And if you have some boxes or you have some 
cardboard anywhere, then you can also use those for your drawings. Materials that you can use to draw are, you can use a, a pencil, you can use some black pen or a blue pen, and if you have colored pens, you may also use those. Crayons and markers are also great tools to use, such as these. And you can choose your favorite colors to do your drawing. If you're looking for some ideas, you can also take a look at some books that you might have at home. Open the pages, and you might find something that you would like to copy or inspire you to draw. This magazine that I got has very interesting under the sea creatures that can inspire me to think what I can draw in terms of looking at animals under the sea. So children, I hope that you enjoyed today's video as well as our book reading. Until next time, see you again. Bye!